who am I? What does it mean to be conscious? Why am I living? What is consciousness? Is consciousness linked to the brain or not? Those were the questions which got hold of me when I was 21, 22. And my philosophy is drawn from a number of answers I found asking myself those questions. Every religion, every philosophy is pointing toward unity, toward oneness. But we live in duality. What is duality? It's a division between me and what is not me, me as a subject and what is not me an object. What is not me are my thoughts, my emotion, my perception, my ego structure, my person, person, person I, the mask the Roman used to wear on stage, the actor. So the point is to drop the mask. How do we drop the mask? From jumping to two, duality, to one. So our ego, our structure, exist, exist, existere, which is on the outside. Words are really interesting when we question them. My ego exists because there is something else other than me. Do you remember one of the first phrases of the Bible? You shall not touch the fruit of the tree of good and evil. If you do, you die. If you get from one to two, locked in two, you lose oneness. And that oneness smells eternity. That oneness is beyond space, beyond time. To encounter your real nature is like getting out of Plato's cave. How do we do that? By studying ourselves, by questioning ourselves, by pushing ourselves beyond the ultimate limit. At that moment, our ego collapse. The drop of water becomes a sea. We can all do it. It's a question of will, which will create the discipline, which will force us to see what we do not want to see in ourselves. By doing that, by breaking that wall, by breaking that barrier, our consciousness becomes multidimensional.